Hello again. So today is day four since having my extractions done and my dentures put in. And unfortunately, everything that I said before about thinking I was super lucky because I hadn't experienced um, much swelling or pain does not apply anymore. I am hurting really, really bad. I was hurting really, really bad yesterday too. Um, it's not so much the extraction sites that are hurting, but um, the dentures themselves. Uh, my mouth is changing every day, so it's kind of really hard to adjust to the dentures because since my mouth is changing, the way they're fitting is changing every day also. But um, there's two things in particular about them that are really hurting me. The first one um, is, uh, I don't know what it's called, but there's a little piece of skin right here between your lip and your gum. And um, that kind of connects your lip to your gum. And the dentures have little divots in the top of them to kind of accommodate that thing. I don't know if I'll show you this one here. Yeah, see it kind of goes down right there. Um, I didn't realize you have those on the sides of your mouth as well. And on this side of my mouth, the um, little divot that they made does not at all line up with whatever that little flap of skin is. So it's incredibly painful. Um, whenever I've got my top denture in, which is pretty much all the time, it's rubbing up against that. And it hurts really bad. It's created like a nice little sore up there. And if you can see here, I got quite a bit of swelling on that side. Way more so than on this side. And that is from that thing right there. The other really painful part is um, kind of hard to explain, but it's on the inside of my mouth at the very back of the denture. Um, my bottom dentures fit really well, and from what I've heard, the bottom ones are usually the ones that don't fit very well. But it's like on the very back of my denture, it's almost pinched in, you know, at the bottom of the denture, um, you know, which helps to keep them in nicely, but um, it's excruciating. When I have got my denture on, I put it back in. It's almost like um, that little pinch part is pushing the gum down on the inside. Because I've got two little open sores there. And um, if I have my denture out and I look, I can see, like, it's got, like, a little, like, step almost, like, where the bottom of the denture would be. Where it's, you know, like, it's, like, it's pushed the gum down. And when they're in, I can even feel it, like, it's, like, it's hard to explain. But, you know, right at the bottom of the denture, I can feel, like, where this the gum tissue is kind of, like, built up at the bottom of it. Like, it's just been being pushed down every time I put the denture in. And that is incredibly painful. Like, it hurts really, really bad. Um, I heard a lot of girls raving about stuff called Benzodent. Um, you know, they just saying it, it's going to be your best friend. One of the girls, um, I think her name's Charity. Um, she does a lot of videos. Super cute. I love her videos. She's great. She even called it her lover. Um, so I rushed out and I got some of that. And I'm sure it works well, but I must be an idiot because I can't figure this stuff out. I mean, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. Like, you put it on your finger and you put it on your sore spots. But it's really thick like a paste. And, um... The saliva in my mouth, you know, since it's kind of wet, it, I have a really hard time getting it to stick onto the spots that I want it to stick to. And if I am able to get it to stick, you know, it kind of hardens after that. And if I am, like I said, since the areas that are sore are um, the areas where there's a lot of pressure from the denture, um, I can't get the denture to fit over it. So if I do get it put on my sore spot, then it's like I can't get the denture on. And if I do get the denture on, it just kind of scrapes it all off. So, um... Anyway, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If anyone out there has any advice or tips on how to use this Benzodent properly, or if I'm doing something wrong, um, I welcome any comments or um, messages. Please, any advice, I would, you know, I'd love to hear it because if this stuff works as well as everyone says it does, maybe it could help the pain that I'm in right now. Um, another thing that's kind of a bummer is I really assumed that the first couple days, no matter what, were going to be the worst. And, you know, hence all the talking I was doing about how I thought I was so lucky and I didn't have swelling and I didn't have, you know, pain. Um, you know, I thought no matter what, the first couple of days would be the worst and it would just get better after that, which is obviously not the case. Um, so anyway, um, even though I wasn't in that much pain, I was taking my pain meds as prescribed the first couple of days. And I guess I, in retrospect, I really didn't need to be taking them because now I'm hurting really bad and I'm almost out. And that sucks because I'm scared and I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. But Boohoo, I'll survive. Um, so anyway, um, since I haven't been able to really use the Benzodent, I did find a couple other products that work that are helping out a lot. Um, first one is this. It is Colgate Peroxyl Mouth Sore Rinse. And um, I was originally looking for the Aurigel Antiseptic Rinse for Mouth Sores, which I also heard a lot of people saying um, was wonderful and they use it like crazy. I couldn't find that, but apparently this stuff is exactly the same. It's got the same active ingredient, which is um, hydrogen peroxide. So it feels nice to rinse your mouth out with it, but it um, 
it's kind of weird because as you're rinsing your mouth, it kind of froths up, you know, the bubbles and stuff like hydrogen peroxide. And, um, you know, when you, know, you spit it out, it's really like frothy and stuff. And, but whatever, it feels, uh, feels really good. And since I haven't been able to use the Benzident, I have been using this here, which is oral pain relief, which is just a, uh, oral anesthetic liquid. And, um, it's really thin, just like a thin kind of watery liquid. And I just take a Q-tip. And I uh, just dab it on to my really sore spots, and it numbs them up really well. I've been kind of going crazy on the sore spots. You know, the ones I said are the worst here on my bottom, excuse me, on my bottom um, jaw. So I usually end up just kind of numbing up my entire tongue. But, you know, whatever helps, and it does help. So um, those are my two products that I've been using and have been helping. But um, other than that, I'm just really excited to get my first adjustment and my reline done. Because I've heard that um, it's normal for it, you know, the dentures to be really uncomfortable and to hurt really bad up until you get your first um, adjustment and reline. And I've got my family reunion coming up next week, and I'm so excited. Like my family reunions are the coolest thing ever. It's not your typical boring, you know, picnic at the park, you know, bringing like a potluck and it's awkward and stuff. But um, we've been doing this tradition for, excuse me, it's gross, for um. Like, I think over 30 years, I mean, my entire life, my whole family comes up from California, big convoy of us, and um, we all go up to Ocean Shores, Washington. We have just a blast. We um, stay in the same hotel every year. It's always the first week of August. It's about a week, almost a week long. So much fun. We all love it. The, my family is just amazing. I love them like crazy. Um, anyway, it was really important for me to get my dentures done um, before my family reunion because I can't even imagine trying not to smile or not wanting to smile there because it's like the happiest time of my life. But um, So I, uh, anyway, oh, the thing that's kind of a bummer about that is when I had my uh, procedure done on a Friday and um, the d dentist was telling me that he was going to be gone the entire next week on vacation and he wanted me to come back, you know, uh, after he returned from vacation, which is going to be like the first day of my family reunion. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to be able to go see him before the reunion uh, to get my uh, reliner adjustment done. But he did refer me to another affordable dentures, which is um, about the same distance away, but it's north. And um, I guess he works with that dentist a lot. And um, so I can go there and get it done. I'm not sure uh, not sure how long it takes to get an adjustment or reline done. But I'm hoping it's quick. Maybe I could. Um, my dad's picking me up on the way up from California. Maybe we could stop there. I'm not sure, but I'd really like to get it done. Uh, before that, because I don't want to be in pain like this at the reunion. And if they're, you know, already kind of, it's already starting to feel like they don't fit right, especially the top denture. It's um, it's pretty loose, and it's kind of weird when I talk, because it's like I can feel sometimes air get pushed in from the back, and then it kind of comes out the front, and it's weird. Like, it comes out like little bubbles, and it's a really weird sensation. I don't like it. But if it's like this now, I can only imagine how, um, what it's going to be like, you know, after, you know, a, a week from now, there's my family reunion, then it's going to be almost a week long. So, I mean, I don't want to have to go that long without having an adjustment or reline done. So, I'm going to give him a call, I guess, and try and schedule that. But, um, other than that, I guess I don't really have a whole lot else to say. I just wanted to uh, check in. I'm going to go and uh, ice my face a bit and hopefully start feeling better. But, again, if anyone has any advice on the Benzident, I welcome it. Please, please, please <laughs> give me some advice. Help me because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I must be an idiot. But, uh, anyways, um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks.